There are a whole lot of uh, thought about this thoughtlessness. Thoughtlessness, no mind, these kinds of terms have been propagated all over the place and these terms have been badly misunderstood and made into all kinds of things and people are striving how to stop my mind. It took millions of years of evolution to get a mind of this kind of capability. Millions of years of tremendous amount of nature's work that today you have a mind of this kind of scope and now you want to stop it. Why is it that you want to stop it? If your mind was constantly producing absolute pleasantness for you, would you think how to stop this mind? No, it's producing lot of unpleasantness. That's why you're thinking of how to stop the mind. This is the first thing, wherever you go in the world, this has gone so much into people's mind. If you tell them you meditate, they say, but Sadhguru, I, I'm not able to stop my mind. I said that will happen only after you stop your kidneys, liver, heart. You stop all these things, then the mind will also stop. Do you want it to stop? No. Then why do you want the mind to stop? Why do you have such a horrible prejudice against the mind? You don't mind if your heart is beating, you can meditate. You don't mind if your liver is working, you can meditate. Your kidneys are functioning, you can meditate. If your brain functions, you can't meditate, what is the problem? You seem to have something against intelligence. This is the conspiracy of the stupid against human intelligence. That to meditate means your brain must be frozen. You don't have to freeze your brain. If you sit here, you will see your body is here, your mind is somewhere, who you are is somewhere else. Once there is a space between you and the mind, what the mind is doing is not even an issue. It is like you're stuck in the traffic jam, you know, you're struggling through the traffic. That's one experience. Suppose you are in a hot air balloon and look down at all the traffic, very peacefully, traffic. Why? To the distance, isn't it? When you're in it, traffic is a different experience. From really high up there, sitting in a hot air balloon, you look down, you can't even hear the sounds. Looks wonderful traffic, isn't it? Because there's a distance. So once there's a distance between you and your mind's activity, mind is not a problem. Mind is a miracle, it is not a problem.